Hey, what's up guys? Sean here. And today I'm going to do a quick tip tutorial on how to move from Cinema 4D to Photoshop while using Alpha Channels. If you don't really know what Alpha Channel is, um, best way I can kind of sum it up is that, well, people ask me why when I go from Cinema to Photoshop and I didn't put anything in the background in Cinema, there's still a black background in Photoshop. Well, with an Alpha Channel, you can work around this and have it cut it out perfectly so uh, you don't have to um, cut it out by yourself. So um, for an example right now, just real quick, get a cube, change the render settings, um, make the output bigger. Um, okay, in the save, I'll just put this on the desktop. Make it LOL. Then I'll hit an alpha channel and straight alpha. All right, that's the channel, and then I'm going to hit render. It's going to do a quick render out. Right here, when I pull it right into Photoshop, just drag it in or uh, open it in there, you'll see, I dragged it in twice, twice there, um, you'll see background, you got to unlock it real quick. Then in channels, you'll see this alpha down here. When I turn it on, it'll show red background, but what you want to do is control click on the box and you'll see that it renders it out here for you and you can move around and use it so you can just kinda use it as a simple cutout so let me set something up more complex so you can uh, see how to do this better um... let's just get like a sphere cloner object put that in there just gonna not really go through this because that's not the point of this tutorial. Okay. moving them around here and uh, okay that looks like a more complex thing now I'm gonna work on setting up a scene because this is probably what most of you will do um, I'm just gonna make a material make kinda dark put some reflections um, for now on that reflection just drag those down then I'm gonna put those on the ball all right, um, I'm going to set this up so you can see good reflections because this is another thing people have asked me is that uh, how to make it show up with uh, HDR maps and things like that. Well, first I'm going to get an HDR map from the light kit, Grayscale Gorilla light kit. I'm going to use this one here. I'm just going to make a sky after this and drag that on there. Okay, when you got that, you'll see that it does show up as a background now. Let me just change the anti-alias in here. Okay, it shows up as the background. You don't want that. You can also do object buffers and stuff that'll get those out, but for now, we're just going to keep it simple. You don't want that, so you're going to go to right-click on that object, compositing scene by camera. Now it's not going to show up in the camera, but it still gets the reflections. So uh, you can just do that. Maybe you grab softbox from that so you can get good reflections so yeah that that's basically what it is right there so say you wanted to drag this let me make this a little bigger say you wanted to uh, drag this onto a photo have some cool effects um, you would do this you'd save it let's just put lol Oh, okay. Alpha channel, straight alpha, and then hit render. I had it saved to my desktop, so it's gonna save there. Well, actually, no, I didn't save it. So, file, save. Okay. Now, I'm just close that. Let's say you got a picture, a picture of some funny-looking black guy that I got just for the tutorial. Say I wanted to put these balls over his face because he's ugly as hell. 
well, I do what I did before on this, grab the alpha channel by control clicking on the channel for this, and then it cuts them out, as you can see here, you can drag them onto a new comp or uh, canvas, and then you can cover the ugly guy. So yeah, that's basically the tip. Nothing special, just uh, giving you a couple tips. Uh, if you like these tips, just comment. I'll do more. If you need anything you want to know that maybe I've already done or you know that I know, or I might not know and everyone wants to figure out, just uh, comment this video with it and I'll do it. Thanks for watching, guys.